being an international student uh, in the UK or anywhere else is not always glorious. Like, of course, you have your struggles and everything. Um, but recently, I saw someone on TikTok making a video about how uh, they applied for graduate visa and the graduate visa ran out uh, after their student visa. So now they have to go back to their home country and they're because they couldn't find a job to sponsor them so they're really struggling which is obviously like a really sad story right i mean like i'm a i'm currently an international student in the uk and i'm gonna have to graduate soon well in a year but um yeah it's really difficult for graduates anywhere to find a job but this person is uh, a citizen of the United States so even after their visa is over they can like come back to the UK later. Um, but for a lot of other nationalities like Bangladesh, India or Pakistan or Nigeria or other places it's not so easy for you to come back as a visitor but a uh, citizen of the United States you can come back to the UK for six months without a visa anytime so this person is currently in the UK looking for a job as a visitor. Just my little, just a little bit of a venting, um, not really complaining, just a little bit of a pickle. It's like uh, they were framing it. Like, of course, it's sad that she couldn't find a job, but she's still able to be in the UK as a visitor, which is a privilege a lot of people don't have. So I understand. Um, uh, she was getting a lot of sympathy from people in the comments and such but you know if like someone like me makes a video complaining about uk visa laws and such everyone's gonna tell me to go back to where i came from i mean um it's not really a surprise but yeah just if i had to dig a little bit just the double standards yeah it's sad for both of us but yeah we have double standards where you know melanin distribution and whatnot so yeah this video is too long i need to cut it short but yeah thank you for listening to my event